right guys welcome back uh, if it's your first time here please consider hitting the subscribe button it helps me out greatly um, and we've still got lots of things to come in this project so with that out of the way I'm gonna crack on so what we've got now is everything that I says I needed to do I've got done so we've repiped um, from the drum filter to the moving bed we've done that um, we've got his waist chute connected up we've resealed the skimmer and the pond is currently refilling um, I don't know if you can hear the buzzing in the background but that's the airline up and running I'll spin you around a second so I've connected up um, a socket here what's going to be used for me airlines so that's on at the moment that's all connected up there waistline connected up now I've got my hose on here just in case so if shit does it fam then we can open this um, waste outlet up and start draining again but I'll show you out here so we're bubbling away nicely like a jacuzzi the water's filling up so that's where she's at at a minute looking rather well so she's coming on we just need to keep his fingers crossed that this bloody thing don't start leaking it's all dry anyway at the minute but once it gets up to skimmer level and starts flowing into the skimmer then that will be the moment of truth so it's just a matter of waiting now wait till it gets up to level I'm not going to bother opening these valves up yet until I know for sure so I'm going to let it fill up let it get up to its correct height and then thoroughly check it before I start letting any water into these filters so that's where I'm at a minute guys and I shall be back to you when this bad boy is full and hopefully not leaking so I'll catch you in a bit right guys so we're not far off now just a little more to go say probably about another maybe a couple of inches or so not far off um, at the moment it does seem pretty dry there's no um, obvious damp or wet on my hands when I wipe the wall anything like that so I'm just hoping and praying that we've managed to solve the issue so I'm going to carry on let it fill in and I'm going to monitor it and all being well we're good so I'll report back as soon as I know whether the issue is fixed well, I've let water into me drum guys as you'll notice as well, as well I've now fitted the high flow screen so that's going to pull a lot more water through it um, I've opened the valve up to the moving bed so that's all full now well it'll be full once the water levels at the right height like I say probably about another inch or so to go and everything at the moment is looking tickety boo so we're just gonna have to wait for it to fill up to its correct height and then give everything a thorough check over I opened it up because, well, if it is going to leak anyway, uh, I need the um, the bottom drain valve open because I've, I've got to drain it from here, so I need it to open it up anyway, so it doesn't really make any difference. Um, but it's pulled a lot of crap in through bottom drain as well. I need to get myself a brush though because I need to get bottom of the pond a good sweeping because it's got loads of dust laying on bottom and footprints from when I've been working inside it so I need to get myself a brush 
we just use one of them extendable soft window cleaning brushes or something like that just to get a good clean come in handy for cleaning glass down as well so yeah we're nearly there so providing everything is good on this end once it's all full I'll be happy as Larry happy as Larry who's Larry right catch you in a bit guys right guys she's full once again Whew. so I guess now is the moment of truth so as long as that skimmer stays dry I'll be well happy I'm gonna spin you around now and I'll show you what she looks like so here we go all full and bubbling away as I said before I just need to get a brush so I can clean the bottom need to get me my slabs on top not in too much of a rush to get that done in a minute though my main concern is to make sure everything's watertight and that uh, everything's working as it should and then I can worry about doing them after so bubbling like a good one not bothered putting basket in because obviously this skimmer is the skimmer line's going to my drum so I'm not really too fussed about having basket in but most importantly the wall seems dry at the minute I suppose to touch there's a little bit of dampness to it but I mean that could be from where the water soaked into blocks before um, and also due to the cold temperature of the water inside the pond itself you know just making the outside of the blocks feel damp but at the moment all is feeling well and I shall monitor that for a day or two and hopefully fingers crossed job will be a fish because I really don't want to be messing about with this again the last thing I want to be doing is ripping that skimmer out of that wall that's the last thing I want to be doing oh dear. let's go inside here and have a look so there's drums full there's moving beds full there's valves are open there's return valves are open to the pond um, so I guess now the only thing to do would be to turn the thing on we turned on on fuse board yep and see what happens I'm not going to open that water supply up just yet to the pressure pump because I want to make sure everything else is working properly first and then I'll sort that out after so I'll turn this bad boy on this is running it 106 watts what flow are we on? 50% UVs on water level in the moving bed at a nice level Not now I've lowered it, it's not dropping below the inlet so that's good, well happy with that another thing to be doing after as well is once I've made sure everything is ok with all of this um, will be to get me K1 in so I'm going to switch off now while I just have a walk around checking everything checking all the other um, returns and make sure they're all flowing nicely and adjust them if I need to so 
I'll be back to you in a second. He's putting some of me K1 in now. Putting it slowly bit by bit. So this is a 50 litre bag. Just give it a good push down. Obviously I've not got my air pump yet, so it's not going to be a moving bed yet. But it can start maturing I suppose for, for what it's worth this time of year. Plus there's no fishing pond yet, so it's not really going to be doing anything. But I suppose it's the start of that sinking process to start taking that film off for it. A bit more in. So I bought 100 litres of this stuff. Need to address something with me, my pressure pump as well. Sounds like there's something inside it. Just when it kicks in, it's making. Sounds like there's something rattling inside it. So I'm gonna need to take that back out at some point and just see if there's anything stuck inside it. Every last little bit in. It's expensive enough. You've still got another 50 litres to go in yet. I'm not going to put that in yet though. This can settle first before I put that other bag in. I might not even put it in until this, um, until next spring or something like that. It's only going to be. When I put some fish in, there's only going to be a few fish in it so. 50 litres is going to have more than, more than enough to cut with two or three fish itself. So I might just wait till next spring to put all the bag in. Going to need to get some filter start for this as well either fluidizer or on bomb some like that. And that water's cold, I know that. Originally when I when I first started building it I did say to my missus when this pond's built first thing that's gonna be going in it is me for a swim. I think I'll change my mind on that one. I'll wait till summer and have a, have a swim with fishes. Lovely jubbly. Right then, so that's all in there. Everything seems to be running nice and well. Like I say, I've just got to attend to that pressure pump. No biggie. Um, but everything else seems bang on. 
Um, skimmer seems fine. I'll check that again in the morning before I go to work. Pump's running at 60% at a minute. Fluctuating between 135 and 145 watts a minute. So, all good. I shall leave that running. And jobs a fish. See you later.